Is there a day in your life that you remember what you were wearing, where you were, and the exact time it was when you found out life-changing news? Hi, I'm Mary, and mine was April 17th at 5.15 p.m. when my doctor called me and told me that my biopsy results were positive. I was the proud new owner of thyroid cancer. So how can I describe to you what that feels like? Imagine that you are on your very first roller coaster ride ever, sitting in the very first car, and you get to the top of the first hill. As you look down at the drop ahead of you, a million things happen. You get a weird whooshing noise in your ear, and you are filled with a sense of terror as questions flood your head. You wonder how many hills are left, are there twists and turns and corkscrews coming up, and when can I get off this ride? And then what happens? You just plunge. My ride so far has been very interesting. I've had doctor appointment mini hills. I've had needle biopsy corkscrews, which trust me, I kept my eyes closed for the entire time. And then I had my latest and largest hill so far, which would be my thyroid surgery on May 13th. As you can see, they made a pretty nice incision and they took out not only my entire thyroid, but the lymph nodes that surround it. Now I thought that hill was over with until about four days ago I had a follow-up appointment and my doctor let me know that the cancer had become extra lymph nodal which means that it has moved outside of the lymph nodes and now there's just little micro pieces floating around my body. So my next hill will be in about four weeks when I will have radiation treatment. So unlike real life I cannot get off this ride. This is a lifelong ride and there will be many unseen obstacles coming my way. But what I've learned is that life-changing news, whether it is good or bad, can always have some positive results. This has taught me how much strength I actually have within myself. And it has taught me to look at the people around me and that it's okay to ask for help when you need it. And I've realized just how many people I have around me that are willing to not only give support, but give time and comfort. Now I have a new title, it's Oncology Patient, but I also have a new outlook on life. And with that outlook, I know that I can overcome whatever hurdles come my way. I will be able to graduate December 14th, I will be able to grow old, and I will be able to accomplish whatever I want to. It's with the strength that I have found from this dilemma and the support that I've realized that I have from the people around me that I know that I will be able to continue on and accomplish whatever I set my mind to.